BC, these settlers were suddenly replaced by a new branch of humanity. These newcomers are typically storming through the region as they move east and towards the rising sun. They were fierce warriors and great seafarers, built and sailed in huge double hull canoes that could carry hundreds of people. When they arrived, they brought with them a new culture, a new language, a culture language that evolved out of Southeast Asia and spoken and practiced today in the Eastern Pacific Islands. They were polytheistic society people. They practiced animatism and built sacred temples of worship like this one. The high priest spring to the gods on behalf of the chief and his people. Notice that our temple is highly elevated. The belief was that the taller the structure, the closer the communications with our ancestral gods. The gods have granted blessings to the chief and his people. These newcomers introduced a new social hierarchy system where the chiefly titles were inherited by bloodline and chiefs were believed to be descendants of ancestral gods. Stated for you is a model of a chief from the islands of Fiji. His coat is made for the voi voi and the dried pandanus leaves. Notice that he wears a vest around his arms and ankles for the fiber of the coconut husk. We call it mangi mangi. The trail on his arms for the type of cloth we call masi, the longer the trail, the highest he is frank in our society. Mother Paul's shell around his neck and the markings on his face signifies his royal status. Of course, he holds the war club in his hands, a symbol of his power and his authority. He will invite his people to a dance called Tura, depicting the sacred island to this newfound land. <laughs> 